So, Edward, there is nothing wrong with these cards, is there? No. no you've normally played with cards, that's how do. If you have a this plastic container, can you see anything wrong with that? Any, have a bit of, any special mechanism or anything like that? Just a plastic container, right. Well, I'm going to pop these cards right in the top there. And Edward, if you give me the card, please, that you chose for yourself, your card. So, ladies and gentlemen, Edward's card is the Jack of Diamonds, and I'm going to pop it in this envelope, okay? And put the envelope at the back of the other cards over here, like this. Now, the next one, Edward. Seven of Diamonds, who's with that? This lady here, Seven of Diamonds in next. She's the one that got you into this, isn't it? And the last one, the Jack of Hearts. No, it must have been yours, Edward. Jack of Hearts. Now, tell me, Edward, have you ever done any mind reading before? Not the moral. No? Have you married? Yes. And never done any mind. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight I've brought along my own patent mind reading machine. Now, here it is over here. Now, look at this, Edward. All you have to do, your card is the Jack of. What should I say? Hearts. Jack of Hearts. So, all you have to do, Edward, is take the machine, hold it up to your head, point at the cards, turn the handle, and pull out the top of your voice, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Hearts. Do you understand? You stop your head, turn the handle, and say, check your heart, check your heart. It gives you a lot of breast music. <laughs> okay. Okay, up to your head, point at the cards, turn the handle, let the thought radiate from your brain. And call out, check your heart. Check your heart. Check your heart. Tell me, Edward, have you ever played a musical instrument before? Badly. Anything with a wind? <laughs> well, I've got a wind instrument for you. So if you just step over here behind the cards. I've got a lot of room here, but they're just sort of hitting really behind. Let me throw this in here. Right. Now, Edward, do you know what to do with that? Yes. Well, with it. Come over here behind the cards. That's great. That's quite good, but look, we need to create a bit of atmosphere in here. Tonight. So, why are you playing? If you could, just move this forward a little bit like this. If you could just uh, perhaps wiggle your hips from side to side like this and really get right behind the cards, so Edward. That's it. And just watch the card rise from the back. <laughs> anyway, Edward, you don't quite look like a musician. Do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, put this hat on and that will really get you in the middle, won't it? That's great. Now, it's not like that, just like that, okay? <laughs> And away you go. Don't forget the wiggle. And watch the card rise from... What's your favourite tune? <laughs> or play something, can you? <laughs> away you go. And watch the card rise from the back. Edward, look, he's doing it. He's doing it. Edward's doing it. Edward. <laughs> That's your own card. The one in the envelope. So I'll just get rid of the tag. And Edward, if you could just step up here to the microphone, you keep the hat on, it makes you look dignified. That's it. Brilliant, come right behind the mic. Right, you face the front. Hold the pack like this, fingers at the side so we can see the card at the front. Just hold it like this. About there. Now, Edward, the first card rose through science and through mind. With a mind reading machine. The second card rose to the tune of the flute. Now, Edward, the next card will rise when you tell it to. Tell it to rise! Rise? No. I've got to say, envelope rise. You don't the wrong thing, don't let me say. Hold it down there just in case. Now, if it comes up, Edward, don't touch it. Envelope rise. Now, say, envelope open! Envelope open. Come on. <laughs>